Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. In the evening, we see youth protests gathering at Thammasat University Rangsit campus. They demand amending of constitu constitution. And the protest today follow small, smaller protests in other provinces yesterday, like Pitsanulok, Chiang Mai, and Mahasarakam. Thai PBS World tonight, Kun Thep Chai Yong and me talk to a political scientist who are advisor to Security Committee of Prime Minister, Dr. Panitan Watanayagon. And so far, what's your observation? Do you see that the protest is constitutional or unconstitutional? In general, protests under the constitution is allowed, providing they apply for the uh, demonstration properly, uh, legally. The, uh, Organizers of the protests uh, must observe the existing rules and regulations regarding uh, how they organize a protest, how they debate uh, the issues on the stage. So far, as you may already know, uh, there are some cases pending against uh, some of the uh, protesters in different, uh, in different uh, times and in, in different stages, uh, in different gatherings uh, in the past few weeks. Uh, those have to be forwarded to the court, and the court uh, will, of course, uh, make a decision on the legality of the uh, charges. But so far, in general, things seem to be stable within the university's activities, within the uh, agreement with the police, except some of the some of the few cases uh, that the authority are having some concerns um, regarding some of the ways they raise the issues. But, but these are to be perhaps uh, negotiated and discussed among the police officers and the uh, protesters uh, in the next few weeks. The Prime Minister said he is willing to sit down and have a dialogue with uh, the, the protesters. But uh, some of the protesters have rejected the offer. So you think uh, this kind of dialogue is still possible? Uh, and well, I think it's already happening. Hmm. Some of the groups already engaged with the parliamentarians, uh, they, have, uh, they have been sitting down uh, and engaging in the debates, uh, in, the, uh, in the activities, uh, in the parliamentary uh, system. Uh, of course, it's up to different groups uh, uh, to engage uh, with different uh, 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 leaders, different uh, branches. Mm -hmm. It is very correctly that prime minister and executive from the executive branch uh, legislators in the parliamentary uh, to sit down and, and, and listen and exchange with them. What, what is your reaction to a proposal by Senator Kam Noon Sitisaman today that the Prime Minister should uh, call for a joint parliamentary session for both the MPs and Senators to discuss a way out of this situation? Do you think you have, we have come to that stage that the Prime Minister, we need to have that kind of session? Well, normally, executive branch, uh, the leader of the executive uh, administration, like prime minister and other ministers, uh, are engaging uh, or from time to time engage with the parliamentary, uh, both houses. Uh, that's a normal process, uh, particularly under uh, circumstances that you, you have uh, a developing uh, political uh, situations uh, at hand. So that's one hand. On the other hand, I think what people expected to see is to, is to see the administrators, the, the lawmakers, to really sit down and listen to the young people. So these ex executives and these uh, lawmakers just really have a, a platform, a forum to engage with different groups of people mm -hmm. uh, and in the end bring them to the process of uh, reform and, and restructuring our society, which is already in place in the parliamentary system. Mm. So we hope that in the next few weeks, there will be more constructive conversation uh, among these groups and prime minister. The rest of the group that are not willing uh, to do that uh, must be separated uh, from this uh, dialogue, I think. I no, but the, the joint, parliament, uh, joint parliamentary session, as suggested by Kamenun in that form, you think is, is necessary at this moment? Well, uh, that's up to the uh, Prime Minister to make a decision. But uh, many of us, of course, hoping that we can make use of this mechanism. Uh, this is a good mechanism 
the joy session uh, reflects the urgency, uh, the importance of the issue. So if they have a joy sessions and and also if they have a uh, meetings uh, with different groups of the students uh, who are now making their voices heard, so that should be uh, within the confinement of uh, parliamentary politics. And I think that is much better than to be on the streets and and get less done uh, at the end. And Dr. Panitan, right now there must be concern in terms of dialogue between stakeholders and protesters. Last week, Army in Chief General Apirat Kong Song Pong has said something about the protesters are like nation haters. What's your concern regarding this kind of communication? I think that's maybe part of the concern from part of the uh, messages that being uh, discussed uh, during the demonstration. But there are many other uh, uh, genuine and, and, and real concerns on the economy of Thailand, uh, on how representation uh, can be handled in, in a more uh, democratic sense. Uh, the role of the Senate, for example, uh, is a genuine concern. And, and many other concerns, including a master plan like national strategy. So for these are uh, the concerns that uh, not in the comments of the uh, uh, army chief, but on the other hand, of course, the army chief uh, probably are very much focused on some of the uh, messages that uh, tend to be extreme uh, according to his view. So he's trying to, to make sure that uh, it's not going out of hand. Hmm. Dr. Baitan, uh, one of the demands of the protester is an end to what they see as harassment of uh, activists by state authorities. So how would you respond to their, their they claim that they're still being harassed by, by officials, by authorities. Oh, of course, no one wants that to happen. Uh, if it happens on the streets, uh, we hope that uh, the students, uh, the reporters, of course, uh, will send the government evidences of this harassment. And those officers will be, of course, uh, prosecuted and punished under the, the existing law. But uh, the so the critical uh, factor is, of course, to prove that uh, harassment is taking place. Uh, but the concerns uh, of this harassment uh, may, must be listened uh, by uh, executives also. They must make sure that the officers on the ground are properly conducting uh, their, uh, their duties. Uh, in general, they are on, uh, in the area just to make sure that stability and safety are provided to the demonstrators, to the students. But if there is any evidence, well, please um, uh, do not hesitate you know, to send it you know, to the prime minister directly or, or to the government house or to the police headquarters uh, mm. or even to the media in general these days. Uh, and, and those evidence will be uh, uh, taken by the government and those officers will be uh, dealt under the law. And that's all from the Thai PBS World tonight. Thank you very much for watching. ทั้งหมดคือข่าวภาษาอังกฤษไทย